Just a tough, tough loss. Uh, you give them credit. I thought they really came in uh, prepared and with a lot of spunk. It was like deja vu from the game here last year. They really um, knew everything we were going to run, and uh, and we didn't make the adjustments. Uh, in the, in the start of the game, killed us. You know, uh, just just digging that hole early really killed us. Uh, just talking to Katie on the way up here, she said they, they clogged the lane and they clogged up Molly and doubled her, and, and we just kept trying to force it, force it, force it, rather than take what they were giving us, which would have been a, you know, a pitch uh, opposite for, for open shots. We were just trying to force it into the lane, force it into the lane or force it into Molly. We didn't run our stuff, and then I thought we really didn't. I thought Miranda Nixon just gave us some energy and and set the tone in that first half, and Katie played really well in that first half to keep us in it. So I thought, save that, we didn't have a good half, and we're only down three. And uh, and then we come out in the second half, and we let them do the same thing to us, and now we're down 10, and we made a great comeback to, to tie it, but we didn't have enough energy to uh, to get over the hump, you know, and and, and get that lead. and, and uh, Tough one, but I think, you know, looking at the scores, we still control our own destiny for uh, uh, for a home game, but we got to win Saturday uh, at, on senior day, and then we got to go down there and beat them next week, and that would give us the four seed uh, unless we got some help and Lehigh lost twice. Um, but because uh, they're a game ahead of us now for third, so. In order to get a home game and get that four seed, which is our goal right now, we've got to take care of business uh, Saturday and Wednesday, and we've got to regroup. I think we just regrouped at the half and realized that we needed to pick it up. Um, like Coach said, the first quarter really hurt us. We didn't come out mentally prepared, and um, the third quarter we reversed that and tried our best. But it I think we enough. got Molly uh, going on the move too, because yeah, like Cato said in the. First half offenses, she was stationary, so they could. Second half, we brought her out yeah. and got her off back screens, and they had trouble with that. So execution. It, the execution was much better in the second half uh, rather than being stagnant. So uh, I didn't realize she had 11 in the in the third yeah. quarter. And then, uh, you know, we had to come out. I thought our zone was good, but then to a point, once you get down, you got to go man to man. And I thought number 11 killed us with a couple of – well, they had two dagger threes. They had the, the one at the, sh yeah, the clock winding down. I think it was tied or, or maybe two. We were down two, and they hit a three right at the shot clock buzzer. And then number 11, who, who hasn't been shooting it great, and we were going under ball screens as we should, she made us pay and, and hit two threes. So, you know, you got to tip your hat to that. But uh, they, they made a couple big dagger shots, I thought, that took the wind out of our sail. In the first quarter, like Coach said, they really packed it in. Like, mm -hmm. um, so when we were driving, they were like closing in on us, and instead of like kicking to shooters, like we tried to force it too much. And then when we passed to Molly, they were doubling her right away, and um, so it was tough for her inside. But um, and then with, in addition to that, like the uh, they uh, trapped the ball screens, and I don't know if we handled that well. I know I had a couple turnovers off of that. Um, but I think they're just they're just high energy the whole whole game and I think parts of it we were able to handle and parts of it we didn't handle as well.